This week at Interior. In New Orleans this week, Deputy Secretary Kate McGregor announced a region-wide Gulf of Mexico lease sale, generating more than $120 million in high bids for 93 tracks in federal waters. Last year was a record year for American offshore oil production at nearly 597 million barrels, or 15% of domestic oil production, and $5.7 billion in direct revenues to the government. Offshore oil and gas also supported 275,000 total domestic jobs and $60 billion total economic contributions. Revenues received from Outer Continental Shelf leases are directed to the newly created National Parks and Public Land Legacy Restoration Fund, as well as the U.S. Treasury, the Land and Water Conservation Fund, the Historic Preservation Fund, and certain Gulf Coast states. The states use these funds to support coastal conservation and restoration projects, hurricane protection programs, and activities to implement marine, coastal, or conservation management plans. Secretary Bernhardt this week announced that wildfire risk was reduced across a million and a half acres of interior managed lands in 2020, bringing that total to nearly five and a half million acres since 2017. That's the most acreage to be covered in a single presidential term since Interior started tracking data in 2003. The secretary signed a record of decision earlier this year, requiring the construction and maintenance of a system of up to 11,000 miles of strategically placed fuel brakes within a 223 million acre area in portions of California, Idaho, Nevada, Oregon, Utah, and Washington. These efforts will continue to reduce hazardous fuel loads, protect water quality, mitigate severe flooding and erosion, address the spread of invasive species, and improve public roads used by emergency services to best protect communities from wildfires. Secretary Bernhardt designated Wrigley Field in Chicago as a National Historic Landmark recognizing the significant role the baseball stadium has played in both the city and the history of professional sports. Built in 1914, Wrigley Field has been the home of the Chicago Cubs since 1916, a National League charter franchise dating to 1876. Two years younger than Fenway Park in Boston, Wrigley Field is the second oldest ballpark in Major League Baseball and the oldest in the National League. Who says you can't fit the prairie in your pocket? The U.S. Mint has released its 55th America the Beautiful Quarter three-coin set featuring Tall Grass Prairie National Preserve in Kansas. The design shows a skyward view of a regal fritillary butterfly among a background of big blue stem and Indian grass, both iconic to the preserve. Mark your calendars, the National Park Service says we'll all be able to watch the 98th National Christmas Tree Lighting Ceremony on December 3rd at thenationaltree.org. There will be no live audience this year because of COVID concerns, but visitors are invited to President's Park throughout the month of December to view the National Christmas Tree and 56 trees representing every U.S. state, territory, and the District of Columbia. And our social media picture of the week, the season's first snowfall at Pilot Rock in Oregon and California's Cascade Siskiyou National Monument. Pilot Rock is a volcanic plug mountain, a geological description for what's left after a volcano erodes away. It's just one of the special areas protected in the National Monument, part of the wonderland of the Pacific Northwest. Make sure you follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. That's This Week at Interior. <laughs>